What's up, everybody? My name is Blade, and welcome back to the Let's Watches. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Um, so, the truth is behind the Let's Watches, I'm not sure if I really want to bring them back. At least not that much. I only, I only really want to do them if I, I really feel like doing one. Or if a movie, like, really needs one. Like, I'll probably still do Let's Watches for, like, the Norm of the North movies. But I'm not going to do one for every movie I review now. I just know. I just don't ever really feel like doing it anymore. Like, I just, I kind of lost interest in it. Um, but this one I'm going to do a Let's Watch 4. And when I say this one, I mean the next three ones. You read the title. You know what we're watching today. Today we are watching not one, not two, but three. All three Titanic animated movies. Yes. Oh, dear God. It's... Ugh. The next couple hours are going to be fucking hell. So, yeah, I'm watching them back to back to back. No breaks. Well, I mean, I might take a break. Or I might, I might go. To, if I have to go to the bathroom after the first movie, I'll do that, obviously, and I'll leave it in. I will leave me. In, I will leave that in. Me going to the bathroom because why not? No, I'll cut it out. Fuck it. <laughs> so okay, so I'm finally back after all this time. I uh, finally got my computer fixed. Everything is working smoothly again. I'm so happy. I'm finally, I'm finally back to making videos. I'm so happy. I hope you guys all had a nice happy holidays. I hope it was wonderful. Um, my Christmas was really good. Um, sure, it was the first Christmas I had without my mom, but we, we still made it work really well. It was still a really nice, awesome uh, Christmas. I also got a brand new camera, by the way. I got a brand new camera for Christmas, which I'll be testing out for the review and stuff like that. Uh, I'm still using the webcam for like the Let's Watch, obviously, but I'll be I'll be using this bad boy for when I actually, like when I make the review. Look at that. Look, it turns turns around isn't that so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I got i got a new camera i got a bunch of cool stuff for christmas like i also got this fucking i also got a galaga game i can actually play galaga you guys can't see it there we go yeah look at that how cool is that can y'all hear it <laughs> okay sorry i'm not gonna play galaga for you guys or maybe i will someday like but not not all that. <laughs> uh, no. Um, and I also got um, I also got this earlier. I got this cool picture of uh, me and my mom. I don't know if you can see it with the light and everything, but this is uh, this is me and my mom when I when, when I was a little when I was like four or five. It's in black and white. The picture's in black and white. There's no color to it. It's stylized, guys. But yeah, I got that for around Christmas time, and yeah, I just I thought that was really nice. I'm I'm gonna keep it here on the desk. Yeah. Okay, enough Enough showing off my Christmas goodies. Let's sit down and watch this shit. Okay, let's get into this fucking travesty. Okay, so the first movie we're going to watch is Titanic, The Legend Goes On. Um, the one with the rapping dog, the one we all know and love, and is also, ironically, the best of the three. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a franchise that gets worse with every single entry. And before we begin, no, this is not the horrific discovery I told you guys about before Christmas. And that's still coming. That is still coming, but I have to do with this. I have to do this first. It's honestly kind of required. I can't give too much away, but let's just say it's kind of required to to do that. To talk about these movies first. So, anyway, enough stalling, enough waiting. Let's just let the torture begin. 3 2 one, Titanic, the legend, goes on. Sorry, loud as hell. Speaking of which, let me guys know what you think about the new camera position. Like, I got a new monitor for my computer finally, so... Um, now I can put the webcam up there instead of over there. So, yeah, now you can see my entire bedroom. Don't you just love when the music fades in and then fades back in, out? Like, it fades out and then fades back in. What's the point of that? Spoilers, guys! The, the ship sinks! <laughs> the ship sinks, guys. It sinks. I hate to spoil it now, but it sinks. Sorry, I just kind of... I don't mean to laugh. It's kind of silly. I don't know. I guess the sink of the Titanic, but just the way it's animated and everything, and how awkward everything looks. I love how they just letting the guy drown there. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, the fish gotta eat too, I guess. Oh, this is perfectly good. <laughs> she was laughing her ass off at that. I love that. <laughs> Perfect! 
graphic stuff for a kids movie. Yeah. What, what was that? Did you guys see that random like thing? Was that a flashback? What? Stop moping over that picture. You're never going to find your precious mother. Your precious mother. You're wrong. Well, how'd you feel with your mom? And my father too. I'll find them both. Oh, well, she told them. She she told them, didn't she? <laughs> what the hell? What's with the seagull butt? What was that? What was with the seagull butt? Goodbye, goodbye, I see you're off to die. I didn't mean the rhyme. It just happens all the time. Somebody really thought it was a good idea to make a kids film out of the Titanic sinking. What did she say? I can't even understand what they're saying, because like the audio and the, the other audio stuff is too loud. The audio mixing is horrible in this movie. I can't understand what they're saying half the time. Here you are. Let's hope it's a smooth crossing. Was that like a wink of the audience? Like, get it? It's the Titanic. It'll be a smooth crossing, all right. Look, mother, it's that he went to bring all his toys. That Gretchen, Gretchen, he promised to carry them himself. What did she say? Did he just say, "Quick, Gretchen, Gretchen"? What? Well, okay, that's appropriate. Y'all see the little like, mm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Perfectly fine for a kids movie. No, thank you, Master William. I can manage. Don't be silly, Nanny. Let me. Guy looks like he's 27 and he has a fucking nanny. Man, Jeremy has not gotten some good work since the Secret of Nim movie. Oh, God. Miss Rhoda Vanderplank of New York Society. Oh, yeah. So now we have a Sherlock Holmes subplot going on, because why not? Pleasures, a notorious gang of thieves. Oh! Look at this hole. Could take this off for a second. Just let them let this play out. Don't need to hear what they got to say at all. I'm fine. You rang, mum. Please go fetch my. What the fuck? <laughs> Pickering down in third class. I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? He, he walked in looking like fucking Pinocchio, and I'm like, I, Why has no one talked about this? Figuring. Then mend and iron our clothes so we can attend the reception to welcome us aboard. In any case, you can't come. You've nothing to wear. Nothing to wear! Get it? It's like Cinderella! You're so fucking clever and subtle about it! Oh! We haven't much, but you're welcome to a nibble. Go on. The animation is so, like, choppy and shit. Like, it's so lazy. I mean, everyone's already talking about the animation, but it is so, like, lazy and choppy. Like, it's just, like... It leaves out, like, serious small details. I heard it. You're having one, aren't we? We'll talk to Fritz about her. Just the snack I'm looking for. This movie really feels like it's on speed. Like, it's just zipping through everything. You know there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. Working all day now. Here it is. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'll be busting the moves and I'll be busting the rhymes. We'll be busting up laughing cuz it's party time. Oh, this is my shit, guys. This is my fucking shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I... Wow, I didn't... I didn't have no idea about this. It's party time. It's a losing That's art. Battle. I don't care what anyone says, that is art. Lumbering lumps with hands like hams. Brains between you to fill a sparrow's skull. Hopeless it is. I have no idea what she just said. The audio is so butchered in this movie, I can't even understand what they're saying half the time. Don't worry about that. We're professional. Professional rip-offs. Hey. I 
wonder if my little girl has had a proper education. Spectre will never know. You mustn't dwell on her, Nanny. You're on a sea voyage. Yeah, she's dead. Fuck so that bitch. Yeah, advice. fuck your fuck your possible alive daughter. You're possibly a live daughter. I don't know why I can't America. talk. America. Yeah, if you don't need me, I think I'll take a stroll around the deck. This dialogue, man. This audio, the animation. It's just all over the place, man. All these years and you still haven't learned. But you haven't learned what? If I don't land her the right company, we're both gonna hit hard times. Oops, what the fuck is even going her. on? She wears the bait, but I Who are these people? Are these animals or what? It's a scam. What's even going on? And where did he even come from? <laughs> what the was that? I bet you look ravishing. Damn, dude, at least buy the bitch dinner first. Or at least pay the girl. You know, whatever she's into. The locket that her long lost mother gave her. Ah, yes, um. Uh, while you're on your rounds, keep an eye out for a locket lost by a very sweet person who's kind to animals. If people complain that Robin Hood stole animation from previous movies, that was just shameless. How far are we in this movie? Not, not even 20 minutes, and already the best part has already happened. So, what have we here, huh? <laughs> hey look, it's the chef from Little Mermaid. Never seen that before. What the f <laughs> what is this? It's so fucking weird. Like I said, this Tom and Jerry shit just does not belong in this in this movie at all. In a movie about the Titanic! I know what's wrong with you. You need to change your diaper. He looked like he just took a shit, like, eat, eat, ah. Yes, you are. My ball. It fell down there. See that I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> as long as his intentions were good. Well, I've never had a I don't know. You got pretty handsy. Oh, I must go in now. It is chilly. I just want to see her again. I, I have something to say to her. <laughs> that bitch did not care. She's like, bitch, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I told. Then let's drink. To this delightful encounter. She has big boobs. I don't even know your name. It's Angelica. Will I see you at the reception tonight? Maybe if I can stop being in slow motion. Oh. Angelica. Oh, I'll take it back. The whole world's in slow motion all of a sudden. Can we just sink the damn thing already? How deep are we into this? 23 His minutes. His name's Will. What do my foster mother say? I'm Bernice. And Hortense. I wouldn't worry about them. They may not even recognize you. Trust me, I have a plan to get rid of them. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? There's like no connection between any of these characters at all, anywhere. <laughs> she has big boobs. You know, I have a funny feeling the movie would already be over if it wasn't for this animal shenanigan bullshit. <laughs> just a disease-ridden bird that shouldn't be in this room. Speaking of which, all the animals have diseases. No Thank you. Stupid <laughs> fucking Disney bullshit. First you kill Star Wars, and now this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he just got second or third degree burns from that soup. Are we really getting a flashback? Yep. A flashback to the all the great moments they shared together. All like 20 seconds of their time. I remember that ass though. <laughs> That's what he's really remembering. He's remembering that ass. <sighs> Why am I alone? I'm kidding, I don't care. You just get like spider sense. Like, <gasps> she's behind me! 
I really thought someone would be behind me! I can your tits! Go the, the tits! She looks like a she looks like a goldfish in like a, like one of those like desktop screensavers where it's very like fake and animated like. Some people might say the song's actually pretty good. Pretty good knockoff. All my jewelry's fake. You knew that, honey bunch, didn't you? But you love me for myself, don't you? And we'll be together forever. Why would you tell him that? Why would you wear fake jewelry in the first place? Never You're just asking for that sort of shit to happen, dumbass. No, you know nothing about me. The first real smart thing said in this fucking nothing movie. Could tell me, could prevent me from loving you. How about I actually have a penis? Oh no, no, you don't care. Okay, well, gotta say you're being real progressive. <laughs> oh god, dude, he was missing his pupils there for a second. Was that intentional to make him like? Horrifying or something? Yeah, look, he's missing. He's missing his pupils. Are they like? Was that on purpose? To make him look horrifying on purpose? This is pretty damn racist. Now there's the geese from Aristocats. There's so much ripping off here in this movie. Like we all know about it. I, I'm not talking about it because we already know. We already know about all this shit. The racist songs, the the, the Disney ripoffs, the Titanic ripoffs. We know about this already. I'm just experiencing it for the first time. Master William, look. Yeah, the Titanic. The Titanic didn't have windows like that. The Titanic didn't have windows like that. Yeah, the same animation cell, like, four times in a row there. I think you better wake the children. What a shame. Let's find out what's happening first. All right. Yeah, I'll leave the kids see. behind. No one cares. Everyone's going up on deck. We'd better wake them and get them dressed. What was the point of that? It's filling up fast! Back faster! Yeah, splash the wall! Splash the wall! Really? We're doing this fucking shit? It's the second of the Titanic! Come on! Is that fucking necessary? I get she's the bad guy, but come on! There's no such thing as dignity in this fucking shit. There's like no dignity in this movie at all. It could be fucking 9-11 and they'll find some hijinks. Someone can slip on a fucking banana peel and shit. Is it really gawking her boobs when they're fucking sinking? <laughs> it's a secret of the Titanic! 1500 people are dying right now! <laughs> Toria, where's William? Do you, think you know where he is, you dumbass! There's a child here! Yeah, because we all know the boats came back. Hang on, we gotta save him too! Yeah, fuck up, oh, well. He went under, he's dead, fuck it. <laughs> they didn't even try! Oh, I guess it's all over now. What was it, that weird, creepy look? Like, mm hmm. Ever since my mother put it around my neck as a baby. And then, and then left you because she was forced to. Mother? <gasps> Mommy? Oh, Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Never thought you'd abandoned me, and the hope that one day I'd find you just you did. Like you just did. We're not even gonna explain it. We're not gonna bother trying to. I finally found my mother. At all. Only to lose William. I brought him up and gave him all the love I wanted to give you. Yeah, I raised oh, him and not don't you. Let me stop hoping. Special Detective Bradbury, New York Police Department. Sam to my friends. I added absolutely nothing to this movie. Sam. It's the dolphins! They're here to save the whales! That yeah, that's coming up next, guys. That's that's coming up next, unfortunately. It's William, darling, it's me, Angelica. 
Where's we? Yeah. Who did that? Keep still, everyone. Keep yeah, take those, still. take those shortcuts, guys. Yeah, use that cheap animation. Show us how lazy you really are. It's like it's like a weird it's like a weird 1600s portrait. You. Sorry I took so long. Wow, what great acting there, dude. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. You have to forgive me. I got a bit of sandpaper in my throat. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going? The movie isn't over yet. Don't you want to know what happened to everybody? No. Well, here's hoping they'll all live happily ever after. Bye for now and Yeah, see you after soon. the sinking of the Titanic. This is this movie definitely needed a happily ever after. Oh my god. This was trash. Fucking trash. Oh god, the the credits go on for like ever. Guys, the credits go on for like... Guys, the credits are like 13 minutes long! Oh, wow. Okay. Let me turn the light on. A little bit more light on there. Oh my god. Well... That was shit. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. I mean, it is the animated Titanic film. So... What else is there to say about that movie other than... At least it gave us the rapping dog. That masterpiece. Other than that, everyone's right about it. It's got really shitty animation. It's really inconsistent. Like, it takes a lot of shortcuts. It, it reuses assets all the time throughout the movie. There's, um... Like, it like <clears throat> it really has a lot of weird, awkward jump cuts to where it feels like it's not done. Like, the, the animation of this movie is not done yet. It's obviously... There's still a lot of work that needs to be put in this movie. But it came out in 2000, and no one gives a shit about it now. So there's also that. There's also the fact that it steals so many different characters from the Disney franchise, from Don Bluth and everything, and with, without any, like, real, like, charm or wit to it. Like, it's not even, like, a parody. These are just straight-up rip-offs. Like, there's no shame in it. Just They just straight-up took that shit away. There's, like, you got the Cinderella arc, you got, uh, you got the mice from American Tale, you got... Granny from the Looney Tunes, you got the Dalmatians from 101 Dalmatians, like, it, it's, just, it's just soulless and bad. Um, there's also the fact that, again, this is an animated movie about the Titanic, and they treat it like some silly little kids film, and that's, like, probably the most insulting part of it, because it was a real tragedy, a real event in history. It was the greatest maritime disaster in human history, uh, over 1,500 people died from it. And it actually changed maritime law forever. Like, before the Titanic sank, every ship had a minimum... It had to have a minimum of 16 boats, like, for lifeboats and everything like that. Now, you gotta keep in mind that there was never a boat as big as Titanic before. Like, that law was set way before ships like the Titanic and stuff like that existed. Where that could carry thousands of people at a time. Before that, 16 lifeboats were usually enough. And even then, the Titanic actually had 20 lifeboats. You had 16 regular class lifeboats that could carry 65 people at a, a time. And you also had 4 extra canvas lifeboats, which could carry an extra 40 at some time. But even with that being said, that's only enough for half the passengers of the Titanic at the night of the sinking. And you also still have to, to take into account that people really weren't aware of the danger at the time, at the beginning of the tragedy, like, not like, for like the first hour after the, the boat hit the iceberg, many people didn't really want to get in the lifeboats, and a lot of the, the first lifeboats left virtually half empty, one lifeboat leaving with only 12 people. It wasn't until, like, later in the night, like around 1 or 1.30, when the boat was really starting to go down, that people finally catch on that, yeah, their, their lives are actually in danger. Uh, only then, but by then that it was too late, and more people died than had to. And, but that doesn't matter, because these people, like, it's, it's fine, it's just, uh, you can make some, like, you know, kitty crap, you can make some Disney not wannabe knockoff with the main character talking to animals and shit, like she's fucking Snow White, and you can have your cute little comedy and stuff like that, your cute little Mexican singing mice and everything. This movie's fucking horrible. This is pure fucking trash. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't have much else to add, really. What else is there to add? Everybody said what needs to be said about this movie. It's it's trash. It is trash. 
But anyway, on to the next one. All right, boys and girls, now we're watching the second animated Titanic film. We're a third of the way there. The Legend of the Titanic. So, interestingly enough, this, this is kind of interesting. I, I did a bit of research before I watched these movies. In this movie, that everybody calls the second Titanic movie, actually is the first. This one came out in, I think, like, I couldn't find an exact date. But I do know it came out in 1999. The one we just watched with the rapping dog came out in 2000. So technically, this is the first official animated Titanic film. That I I I thought I thought was interesting. I thought was really I thought that was really interesting. I had no idea. And uh, now we're gonna watch this one now. Orlando Karate, how could you do this? I can't believe you've done this. These movies have such bland openings. Like, like, there's really nothing to it. You just have this bland ass uh, title screen, and that's it. That's that's all you got. That's all you need, I guess. The truth of the matter is that those missing persons were never really missing. It's all a misunderstanding. One of these days, I'll tell you the whole story. I love how it's a misunderstanding. Come on now, kids, relax. It don't make such a fuss. Relax, okay? It's only just- it's only lying about 1,500 people's death. We're just pretending they never die. It's not that big of a deal. I still say she was the most beautiful ship that ever plowed the waves. It all began long ago in England. Grandpa, you're not talking! Grandpa, you're just standing there staring at the picture! We can't hear you! So yeah, supposedly the animation is actually way better in this one. And, yeah, it actually is decent from what I've heard. The animation's okay. It looks like a Saturday morning cartoon. It looks fine. The color the line works good. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck back! Knock your damn kid off your shoulders. Thank you, young man. I must say your ship is most impressive. What's <laughs> <laughs> his voice? Did you hear his voice? It sounds so, like, fake. Like, it's obviously, like, a really fake accent. It almost sounds like the guy was, like, clenching his nose while talking. Oh, why, yes, thank you, Sonny. I swear, this, this ship is, like, the best fucking thing I've ever seen. Oh, great, so most of the cats in this fucking movie now? I will admit, I like some of these designs. I will admit that. I do like some of the designs of these mice. They look kind of kind of... They, they look nice. I, I will admit that. They look kind of cool. Does any of this matter? Do any of these people matter? Why are we doing this? Land lovers call that a rope. To us, it's an oozer. Get it? Got it. Good. Who fucking cares what the rope is called? <laughs> um. So was soccer a thing back in the 1910s? I mean, I believe it. If it were, I don't know. Maybe it was. And I know literally everywhere else in the world calls it football, but like, I'm okay. I'm from Kentucky, okay? We call it soccer here. I'd rather die than marry that horrifying, disgusting old serpent. Elizabeth, don't be impertinent. You have a position to keep up. Your stepmother and I simply want what's best for our little girl. Yeah, be reasonable about me selling your life away to some guy. <laughs> Pay no attention to that vulgar beast. What was the point of all that? You could have just had the dog go straight to Elizabeth. Be done with it! Oh, I could always go after the dog, but fuck that. What a heavenly fragrance. Oh, I shall I shall fap to it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to pause the video, guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not doing that. I mean, I could always go and uh, give her her glove back, you creep. Jeffries, find out who he is. Mm. You can count on me, boss. Find out that random guy who looked at Elizabeth. Get busy. Space does not travel with animals, you imbecile. If you have a problem with him, but sir, I, you have a problem with us first. <laughs> they literally just threatened an officer. I mean, he's a sailor, he counts. He counts. Wow. What utter assholes. 
Oh, I feel bad for the guy, actually. And of course the dog has to pee on him. Like, what the fuck? Guy was just doing his fucking job and he gets shed on by everybody. That's not funny. That's not funny, man. I know, I'm, I know I'm laughing, but that's such a dick thing to do. <laughs> Over here, my boy. I'll take a copy. Coming, Gov. Coming. There you are, sir. Thanks, Gov. The Titanic sailed today. Now oh, then, where was I? Ah, yes. What was the point of that? My wailing. <laughs> There's nothing in the world that counts besides money and power. Everything else is simply there to be used to achieve those objectives. He sounds like Seto Kaiba. Here? Hurry, man, hurry! Get like, yeah, like, he sounds like Kaiba. Nothing matters more than money and power. And, of course, being the king of games. I'll get you, Yugi Moto. That hand looks pretty good, too. Like, yeah, the animation isn't that bad in this movie. It's a little funky and janky at times, but for the most part, it's pretty good, actually. Mr. Craig, we used to have speech. Like, it's, it's good for, like, a Saturday morning cartoon. That's that, that's the best way to we sum it up. Mr. Craig, have me called for any problem whatsoever, and if there aren't any, make one up. Yes, sir. Up, didn't, uh... Didn't they say that in the movie? In the James Cameron movie? Yes. Well, that needs a bit of a chat about, but I know I can count on you not to let him get into trouble. <laughs> I love how their mouths don't seem to move half the time. Sorry for being late. I was working and didn't realize the hour. Elizabeth, you look more enchanting than ever. Not only is it the best I was busy enhancing my deck to beat Yugi in a duel. Sorry, it's getting kind of cold in here. Just gonna bundle up a little bit for this. Let's watch. Ugh. I'm gonna suffer. I'm gonna be comfortable with suffering. I get that goes against the point, but fuck it. Fuck it. One thing I'm not, and that's a racist. That girl is a masterpiece of beauty, and we Brazilians always appreciate. Jesus. Let's go ahead. Is it really racism <laughs> and not speciesism? Oh God, here it comes. <laughs> She's got big boobs. What's her name? Oh. I love how they can jump that high. Forget the magic moonbeam for shit for a second. They can jump as high as the fucking Titanic was. Yeah, sure. Okay. I don't believe it. You can understand us thanks to a net of magic moonbeams that caught your tears as they fell into the water. We added a little magic of our own and we're not the Ugh, this is a good Kush voice. <laughs> They drown us, what? Wow, Sorry, I was laughing. With the elevation they get in their jumps, they could score goals from all over the soccer field. <laughs> if I could turn what did he say? Like you, that would make what did he fucking say? Anything in the Maltravas ships are hunting the poor things near to extinction. Huh? It will be a catastrophe. The whales will be massacred unless there's some sort of... Oh, dear God, not the whales! Oh, not the whales! Oh! Someone get whale wars on the phone! As I was saying, your grace. My entire fleet is ready to set sail at this moment. I can't not hear Seto Kaiba coming from this guy. Then the exclusive rights to all your whaling territories around the globe. I just really don't like whales. Why do you think I'll wear the eye patch? One way or another, I'll have that whaling concession signed and sealed if it's the last thing I ever do. I just really, really hate whales. Jailer shark people who I'm sure I'm not hallucinating! Hey, what's going on, Jeffrey? Oh, thank God, I thought you were a drunk hallucination! Is that I'm still high? All this bitch is gonna do is cry on this whole damn trip. Oh, he's scared real friends. Ah! <laughs> Smack the shit out of it! Come on, muchachos, let's liven things up and go to bed happy after a good flamingo! Hiya! Ha <laughs> ha We are Brazilian, y'all! Fortunately, our affairs aren't limited to business. For a second, I thought the movie, like, was, like, kind of, like, frozen on the screen for a second there. It just held that one frame for, like, ten seconds straight there. They're fucking! They are fucking! They're fucking like mice! 
And we should know we're mice! Oh, it's you, my very dearest. What a delight to see you. I was I was just on my way to talk to you, but I uh went in here for some reason. My one and only plan, dear girl, is to see you as happy as possible. And I would never dream of forcing you to do something you don't want to. Even though I was doing that in the very beginning of the movie. But I guess it's just somewhere down the line I changed my mind. I don't know why. I blame magic moonbeams. Well, I haven't had a boner in two hours. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> there was Cinderella. Did y'all see Cinderella there? That was literally Cinderella. Oh, that wasn't her. Never mind. I saw Cinderella for a second there. Legitimately. There she is! There's Cinderella right there! What the fuck? You're right on that, my friend. Sometimes I just lose sight of the fact that not all creatures are created equal. What possessed you to try So the dog can talk in this movie? Well, it's a long and complicated I know he can talk in the next one, but I didn't know he could talk in this one. I thought that was like a thing where he couldn't talk in this movie for some reason, but then he suddenly could. Yeah, a little mouse can do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, what great comedic humor. Oh, so well written. Oh, so well executed. Oh, Tom and Jerry Tom and Jerry would be jealous. Oh, that great slapstick. Cinderella's back! We should go up on deck and get some fresh air. So let's go. Why was he so angry about it? So let's go! Hey, what's the problem? What's the big hurry? The dolphins are there. Are your boobs hanging out enough? Okay, the, you're gonna want them out for this. What is even going on? They're literally walking in a straight line towards each other with nothing blocking their view and only when they're like this close only now they see each other. They're, they're fucking nearsighted I guess. Don't give me those fucking anime eyes. If their souls are truly united, he'll be able to speak to us too. <laughs> How do you know that? Do animals just magically know about the magic? Is that just a thing in this universe? What am I saying? Of course it is. This world doesn't give a fuck. This romance is so forced! They had like one sentence together and that's it! Boo! What am I even looking at? This is fucking insane. Fucking really, fucking really. Oh, I didn't know they had that kind of dancing in 1912. I will call this the greatest movie of all time if he accidentally steps on somebody and crushes them. Or kicks them off over the edge. That'd be great. Because, like, I gotta start drinking. <laughs> well, that's, that's some pretty fucked up imagery for this kid's movie. So I met this guy, he asked me to dance, and I just know he's meant to be. Also, there's this thing about mice and dolphins and shit you should probably know about. Thank you, Daddy. If you truly love that young man, I want you to know you have my blessing. Yeah, you can marry this guy you literally just met. Smiley's blocking it closed. We've gotta get it open. You can't go through the gate. Just a minute. I don't like Mr. Mel Travers very much either. But that's a long You don't even know who he is, you judgmental asshole! No. Sure he's the villain, but you don't fucking know him. Yeah, of course. It's not it's not like there was a fucking orchestra of them on on the deck yesterday. Alright, here's where the acid trip really starts to kick in. Get your drugs, kids, because this is where it really starts to get fun. Here's after we've arranged 
watch for the ice blade to appear in front of the ship. We'll hold the rudder in our teeth, keeping her on course, thus making sure the crash happens right on schedule. And I'm gonna get... Yeah, this is what sunk the Titanic. Not an iceberg or nothing like that, or man's pride and ambition. Nah, it was evil jailer sharks working with some guy who just fucking hates whales. God damn, Italy. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with y'all? Italy, come on. Come on. There he is. Our boy. Tentacles! Ice floats, you dingbats. Hey, you just stole all the cookies and shit. <laughs> he stole my lunch. I'm gonna starve today. Did he just do like a like that leg like, hair slick thing? Like, oh yeah, I'm the shit. Oh yeah, I'm so cool. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You've almost won the bet. Only almost? Yes, because only if you throw a seriously huge hunk of ice can I call you the winner and hire you as head of my own elite guard unit. Got it, kid? He's not even talking. Yeah, but I guess like, you threw an iceberg at a ship full of people. I don't know how many of them we'll be able to save. They'll freeze to death in these waters. You really did it this time, kid. Oh, no! If the dolphins knew what was about to happen, why didn't they try and stop him? This is just as much their fault as uh, as tentacles. This is. Captain Iceberg, Iceberg dead ahead. Captain. Yeah, it was that guy who saw the iceberg, not the people atop the tower. The last movie got that fact right. Come on. Wow, they were ready to get on that light but real fucking quick, weren't they? Like, damn. They were just like instantaneous, like ready to get on that fucking thing. The ship is splitting in two. Get up on deck as fast as you can. Splitting in two right now, really? Oh yeah, it's really splitting in two. I mean, I know it splits in two, but I know it does break in half. But come on. <laughs> What's this fucking like animaniacs bullshit doing in a movie like this? Like, seriously. Oh, Camembert, Camembert, what a hero. <laughs> and all because you had to try and save the whales. Order the remaining lace boats as quickly as you can and try not to let the humans see you. Especially the women, they just raise a ruckus and get in the way. That's not what we need right now. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because women are women. There's room for everyone! Oh. Yeah, we all know there was enough light boats for the people of the Titanic. Yep. Hey guys, remember when the octopus, the giant fucking octopus saved the Titanic? What are they doing? Why are they still on the boat? Shouldn't they have gotten off? There's room for everyone. We call the whales too. They'll be a great help. Just don't give up hope. Whales are Jesus, guys. Just have your faith in the whales. They're the fucking greatest. This all happened because of an evil, greedy human being. You hear that, kids? That's why the Titanic sank. Not because of man's pride and arrogance, but because of an evil man who just wanted money. Oh yeah, the band definitely made it. The captain definitely made it. I will. You guys just wait for the boat to sink. And the movie's over. We can end it now, guys. No. Well, now you gotta deal with the hypothermia, because that was the main reason why a lot of people died in the Titanic. Yeah, just because you're out of the water doesn't mean you're safe. You're still, like, freezing cold. Most beautiful ship that ever put out to sea. And this movie fucking spat on its grave. No, not spat. That's, that's nice. Shat on it. Shout on it with explosive diarrhea. I wish the movie ended with them all dying like this.
Just so we didn't get any more bullshit crap like this. Oh, and look, he's alive anyway. <laughs> what is it, Smiley? Huh? That's wonderful news. It's quite astonishing. You swear they were talking to each other. <laughs> I know, right? It's almost like there's some weird magic moonbeam bullshit that lets animals talk to people. Captain, you must come to me. <laughs> He's just trying to, like, laugh so the fucking horse. Oh, it's the whales! Jesus has come back, guys! The second coming was true! It actually happened! Pentacles, you are a true hero. You took away my honorable death. So thanks for that, dick. And you saved their lives too. I thought there was enough space. I thought there was enough room for everyone. I thought there was enough room for everyone, guys. Yeah, I thought this movie gets it. This movie fucking gets it. This is fucking trash. Stupid, colorful, but insulting crap. Their names may change, but their evil lives on. And the whales are still hunting. Now it's up to you and those of your Children, generation to do something snack. about it. Oh, oh fucking shut up. Stupid propaganda ass bullshit. Fucking stepping on the graves of fitting under people. Kim J. O. K. and Orlando Karate, you are two terrible, terrible people. Never make movies again, either of you. Oh my god. That was... That was the second one. Oh gosh. So, yeah. Um, so to give the movie a little credit, the animation really isn't that bad. Like, it is, it is pretty colorful. The line work was okay. Some of the background designs are actually kind of cool. I did like some of the character designs. Like, so, some of the mice and everything like that. They were actually pretty good. Um, obviously this movie rips off the James Cameron movie. Um, obviously there was some Disney stuff thrown in there as well. Um, not as bad as the first movie, but when it came to utter insanity, this movie's worse. It's an absolute insulting piece of shit. I mean, give, give the one, give the last movie credit, or, well, technically the second one. Yeah, that's confusing, isn't it? The, the first movie we watched with the rapping dog. Give that one credit, it at least acknowledge that people did die on the Titanic. It didn't try to bullshit us. It didn't, like, say, there's room for everyone. No, in that movie, it does acknowledge people did die on the Titanic. Like, there's, so that is a thing. I'll give the movie credit. It's still shit, but they at least had the, they at least had the decency to at least keep the victims dead. In this movie, though, nobody died. No, no, the tight. No, that's just a fucking lie. For some reason, the government and stuff—it's—it's it's a government conspiracy, man. They just—they just want to lie about that. They want you to think people actually died on the Titanic and stuff because of the, the government, man. They gotta lie about it. I don't—I don't know what's going on in Italy to make them think that shit. <laughs> wow, Italy, what have you fucking done? What have you fucking made? Why did you have to tank the world with this? Why? <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Again, I have nothing to add. This one is absolute garbage. This one is fucking terrible. There really is there's nothing else to say. This one is fucking trash. Ugh. And yet, we still have one more to watch. We have one more to watch. Alright, guys. Here we go. The last animated Titanic film that we know about. <laughs> Tentacolino, In Search of the Titanic. Arguably, and by arguably, I mean definitively, the worst animated Titanic movie. Yeah, this is the one that has Atlantis, has that evil emperor guy, and yes, I'm calling him evil because we know why. It has the sharks, the giant octopus, the, the weird doll, the dubstep scene... I want to die. <laughs> okay, but I, I do have something to add to this that nobody talks about when it comes to this movie. When I was doing research for this movie, I, I discovered, interestingly enough, I discovered that it wasn't just Italy that made this movie. Italy had a hand in it, but they actually went to someone else, another country, to make this movie. And do you want to know what that country is? 
North Korea. Yeah. The dictatorship. The totalitarian dictatorship that still exists in this modern day world. The country that actually has no freedom of speech and will literally shoot you just for saying the wrong thing. Yeah. They made this movie. So when you think about that, suddenly everything kind of makes sense if you really think about that. Like you have like, keep in mind, keep, I mean think about it. You have these, you have Elizabeth and Don Juan, whatever's name, I'm going to call him Donnie. I'm going to call him Donnie for the review. Um, so Elizabeth and Donnie are now trapped in this society that's separated from the rest of the world and this glorious leader, eh, eh, will not let them leave, will never let them see their families again. Yeah, it, and apparently it's not a bad thing. Like, it, it, it can't be a bad thing. Like, everybody's going about the, on about the writers and stuff like that for this movie, saying things like, God, what were they thinking? I'll tell you what they were thinking. They didn't want to get their fucking heads blown off, probably, because if they wrote that that kind of thing is a, is a bad thing, they'd probably die. So, um... Okay, I can't say that definitively for sure. Like, I know. I have no idea. But I do know North Korea did have a hand in this movie. So, yeah. That 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 probably explains a whole lot when it comes to all the crazy, stupid decisions that the main characters make in this movie. And all of the themes and everything like that. So, yeah. When you take that into consideration, the fact that North Korea did have a hand in making this movie... Suddenly everything kind of makes sense. It all kind of falls into place. So I, I want to keep that in mind when it comes to reviewing this movie. So yeah, so there's that. But anyway, enough uh, talking about that. Uh, but yeah, let's watch the Italian and North Korean dictator made movie, Tentacolino. Amondo TV Spot Production. Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the Korean company, the North Korean company right there. Oh God. Oh God, why do you gotta bring back the memories of something I just watched? I don't wanna watch this shit again. Oh. Ugh. Just, just cover my head. Just suffocate me. Just suffocate me. Kim Jun Okay, the same guy who directed the last movie. Did, does that mean North Korea has something to do with the last movie too? I couldn't figure anything out about the last movie. It was this movie that I found out about North Korea. But I don't know, I don't know if they had anything to do with the last movie. They might have. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. Don't you love how these guys have a fucking bathosphere in 1915? Rank the capstone. Especially one capable of fighting the Titanic, which wasn't discovered until 1986. Just thought I'd uh, bring that little tidbit of information up. Well, it's only normal there are sharks, Smile. We're at sea. This is their home. Loud, sorry. Honestly, there really isn't any. The voices are so different well, in this movie. Okay, it's it's so point, bad. But I still don't like them. Like there, it's Untrust so different. The mice sound more childish. The dog sounds Sharks way younger. Indeed. They're worse than cats. Ugh. What's happening? Huh? Calm down, smile. Relax. It must have been an underwater current. You know, would it, would it kill you to would it kill you to look out the window? You actually have those. Just saying. Tomb Raider looks way better than this. And my Tomb Raider, I mean the original Tomb Raider. Ow! Oh! Oh, indeed. Yo, 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 look at my teeth. They're so sharp and white and neat. They bring on fear and even some terror. Once they shut, I make no error. With no doubt, needless to say. You ain't no rapping dog. Get out of here, you poser. This isn't art. This is trash. I can't understand what the clams are even saying at all. Look at this cheap animation. They just like fast forward a little bit to like mimic the move, mimic the movement like that. It's so lazy. Did you say yellow? Yellow. 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 Trigger. Dude, yellow. The fuck? I hate that color. I will kill a bastard who invented the color yellow. You know it's a color. Even though I'm wearing yellow on my costume. There is something definitely wrong here, and we're in trouble. Trust me, it's really. Then why are you smiling? Think so? <laughs> we're gonna die! I've also been diagnosed with cancer, and I've also lost my foot. 
Life sucks. Good. Well done, Scarface. We thought it'd be a good idea to Scarface? Wow, they didn't even try to hide that. They just, good material, they just they just straight up named it Scarface. It's not even a parody of Scarface, like sink. Scab Face or you something. Know what I mean? oh, really? Or Scale Face or some shit. Is this, are these people? Did that bitch just really get his ass kicked by a fucking cable? I guess it's 1915, but do you, is no one above the surface noticing this? We were waiting for you. The honor is all yours, oh treacherous and most. I guess just everyone wants to leader. suck his dick so badly. Undeniable like, yeah, they just they just love his chose so much. Right now, I have to go and brush my teeth. Come on. Yeah, because if sharks are, are known for anything, it's caring very much about their teeth. It's not like they grow back or anything. All together, come on. The jellyfish the telegram. This would be kind of funny if, in like, in like SpongeBob or have something. You finished? But like, again. But it's not like these are bad yeah, ideas automatically. For like fun, silly kid stuff, this could be this could be kind of this could work. The problem is, it's well, an animated Titanic it. movie. That's the biggest problem. This shit is insulting to when it connected to that. The little air they have left is disappearing fast. Gosh, this is really stuck. Oh. So he can carry a giant fucking bow like the Titanic. Which was the heaviest man-made thing ever at the time, but he can't pull that out of the rocks. Oh god, here it comes! Captain Plan on his fucking chariot. Whoa! I'm sure the Bronies had a field day with this movie when it came out. <laughs> we'll give them breathing apparatus and take them to Atlantis. Uh-huh. Right now. You why not give them breathing aside, Why not give them that breathing apparatus and then oh, just take them to the surface? Wouldn't the pressure of the water still kill them? Come on, let's go. Just saying. I mean, I know it's like it's a fantasy kids movie, oh. but yeah, whatever. There's, I had lots of problems putting his mask on because he kept struggling and muttering all sorts of gibberish, which made no sense at all. Don't worry, everything's under. Sounds like how the script got I made. Get him. Forward, march! We must save the planet. For I am Captain Planet. <laughs> Slow down! Fuck you, tentacles! We do what we want! Because that's how lava works underwater. Yeah. Really? That's not how lava works underwater, guys. Come on. No, I'm dead. And you're taking me to doggy hell. And none of this is fair at all. Why is God, this I can't believe that's in this movie. I've always been good. <laughs> Yeah, I chased You're not in Doggy really Hell? I, I should know. I invented no Doggy Hell. For this. I want to call my lawyer. Calm down. <laughs> He's a lawyer, Calm really? Down. Look around you. What about a dog has a lawyer in this bad? universe? I'll tell you everything soon. Right now, we're going into the city. Yeah, I could tell you everything like now while we're entering the city, but fuck that. Come on, get onto the stretcher and we'll go to the hospital. All right. But are you sure there won't be any nasty surprises? Oh no. No, nothing like that at all. Oh, amazing. This is such great news. <laughs> at last, we've got a reason to party. I'll organize the most breathtaking party yet. So Give me away from goodness, it. I can't Give me away from it. Darn. It was here just a second ago. That is bad. Your majesty, yeah. they've arrived. The glorious leader! Oh, I mean, the king. Sorry. Sorry. When they realize that we're giving them the elixir of life, and they'll never grow old again, they'll just want to thank us and celebrate forever, don't you think? Oh. Oh, yeah, of course! Don't worry. That's the sensible it's logic! Fabuloso! I'm gonna knock I hate you. Off. If you carry on encouraging him like this, Pimgo will become so vain he'll end up being totally unbearable. You mean he isn't already? I mean, the design of Atlantis isn't that bad, but again, this it's in the, the Titanic the movie. It's it incredible. doesn't belong what here. A wonderful place. Go and get things ready immediately. Get what ready? Calm down. Me? Yes. To yes, don't ask questions, okay? You, you say the wrong thing, you're getting a cap in your ass, right? Okay? North Korea, motherfuckers! North here Korea! Here. Of course. Keep calm. If they wanted to harm us, they wouldn't have saved us. And this elixir is such a pretty color. Come on, drink. Yeah, bleach is a pretty color too. <laughs> You're right. You can play horror music over this and it would fit perfectly. 
Like, yeah, that was that was strangely quiet. Like, almost like the movie's aware of how awful, uh, obviously evil that is, in a way. <laughs> it's like a dream. It's hell on earth. It's doggy hell. <laughs> it's doggy hell. The king says everything lives, moves, and thinks, even if it seems impossible at times. Yeah, you're no avatar, guys. You can't deal with that idea. That concept's way too adult for you. You know what? There's something very fishy going on here, guys. What's going so? on? Get it, cause they're in Atlantis. Get it. Do you get it, guys? Fishy. To Atlantis. Thank your lucky stars that I have saved your lives. Oh God, we really are a doggy hell, aren't we? No, nothing here is fake. I will say without mistake. Everything is made of plastic and shit. Of course it's fake. We are about to have a nightmare. No water is fresh. You can swim around. At the fish old check. It's a real cool sound. Coming to my shelf, I've got some custard time. Every single day, it's all a party time. Did you hear it? Did someone actually said this is scary. <laughs> That's so fun. Someone actually said this is scary and they left it in the recording booth because they do not damn they don't give a fuck. In all probability they have ended up at the bottom of the ocean, along with the mythical Titanic, which they were certain. Mythical for Titanic. Time. Yeah, the Titanic's just a myth to North Korea and, and Italy. Well, I hope you will they don't fucking know or care at all. Queen. Your Majesty. On the contrary, it's better that we were told about the situation right away. And I have to say your counselor informed us in the most amusing way. Which helped you hit your head. Yeah, because what's wrong with staying in a fucking place like this? A place, even though we're separate from the rest of society, we have a glorious leader and stuff like that, and you're never allowed to leave, why would you want to? It's just such a great fucking place! It's so fucking shameless. This movie is like, it's like fucking North Korean propaganda. That's what this is like. Yeah, who cares if you can never visit your friends or family or ever leave? Why would you want to? This place is awesome! Come here. It's just so perfect. It's better than anywhere else in the world, especially America. Puppy love! There, I said it. I made the pun. There. See you later. Oh. I couldn't hold that. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I take it you two would like to leave Atlantis, right? Well, that's what we wanted when we first arrived. Again, very nice North Korean stuff here. Like, think about it. These are, these guys want to leave this hey, amazing place, and guys? they're seen as the bad guys. We're yeah. One of our and you, say we and you had to bring the Titanic into it. You fucking assholes. Be careful. <laughs> Do something important. No, not that. Not that. It looks like it's actually hurting him to kiss her. Like it's actually hurting him. Did you notice that? So can you feel the love tonight? Sorry, that's what they're ripping off, right? Shay, if you're watching this video, you gotta do a cover of Can You Feel the Love Tonight next. I'll be Nala. <laughs> Call me, I'll play Nala in your cover of that song. Why not? And we're back to this all of a sudden, okay. I don't want to get in. I'm scared. I don't know how to swim. You don't need to know how to swim. It's only the water. And just like that, they escaped Atlantis. They can, they can leave now. The, the problem's solved. You see. We should not be here in Atlantis. It is totally unjustified. Yeah, fuck North Korea. I mean Atlantis. We can't stay here forever. Let's take a huge stash of the elixir of life with us. Oh, now they have a real reason to be villains. Just wanting to escape isn't enough. We have to steal something too. We'll be able to conquer the world and rule over everyone. Of course, they'll be able to conquer the world with some juice that makes them immortal. You know what? I agree. I like the cut of this guy's jib. Sounds good. We should get rid of those wretched counselors. Let's destroy them. They won't ever appreciate us enough. I like the cut of this guy's jib. You know what? Deserve. These are the good guys of the movie. Honestly, I like them. Maybe we should warn them about it. I mean, it's thanks to the people of Atlantis that we're alive. And kept you trapped here forever. 
And made you immortal so where you can never die you and go leave. Right away and tell them everything. Tell me how he did that. No, be quiet, you two. He's using his powers, and he doesn't want to be interrupted. Listen Sums the whole care. movie up in one sentence, doesn't Decide it? Tell me how it happened. No. In every way possible. Huh? Tell me how it did it. No. It's the. Best Explain yourself. No. Show them the way out. Yes, yes, your majesty. Because the door is so hard to find. Show them the way out. You mean they don't know where the door is? Get out of here, go! And take the flask with you! I'll stay here and use my Kung Fu some more! Be a more racist stereotype! Oh! Why didn't they just replace the flask before that? Sounds like the over- Sounds like y'all overcomplicated the, the situation. I don't understand why they're willing to give everyone the elixir of life who enters Atlantis. But if somebody actually does want it personally, it's a problem. Like I don't get that. It's only it's only okay if someone if you gotta force someone to take it. That's the thing. The moment has come to use your secret army. Whilst offering protection to our friends and allies, the rats from Atlantis who are trying to reach the surface, we came under attack from an army of mermen and mermaids. Without your help, Somebody had to read this script so seriously. Attack. Like it could be taken that seriously. What are you writing about, Jeffrey? Have you been drinking by any chance? Well, no, your lord. That's almost like the movie yeah, Self-Aware, how, how terrible it is. But that doesn't did. fix never. it. It's right. still pretty right. bad. Why is Vandertail helping the sharks? What is he getting out of this? Also, why are they mobilizing their army? Get a better raid. Oh my god, look at this shit. That's it good. Good. Watch what you're doing, Smile. His Majesty gave the order to be careful and not to hit anyone. I know, I know, I remember. But he didn't well, say- Well, then why'd you give him a gun in the first place if he's not supposed day. to be shooting people? Hmm. What's the fucking oh. point of that? Attack! Attack, but don't hurt anyone for some reason. We can't hurt anyone. Why'd you even mobilize an army? They're, they're out of Atlantis. They're not a threat anymore. They don't even have the real flash, so who fucking cares? I hope you hurt somebody that, that's breaking the orders. You can't do that. See how stupid this shit is? Again, what's the point of this? The mice are gone. They don't even have the elixir of life. You don't have to do any of this. This is all pointless. Tell me, what is your name, my child? I'm called Brumali, your majesty, but I'm not a little girl. For the love of broken bagpipes, I'm the commander of the mountain artillery troops. It's a curse, not a disguise. I'm dialed up like this because I fell into the hands of a little girl who thought she'd put a wig on me when she saw me with this skirt on. Let me fight. Give me a chance. I have to prove myself. Weren't you already I'm fighting? The best if you're a commander. Man in the army. But he's uh, he's already a commander though. He's already fighting. What now? He should have already banished the so-called curse, and he just took the wig off. So it's not really a curse. Stupid. Hope you hurt somebody. You, you, that, that's against uh, the orders. You can't hurt anybody. You Remember, guys, you can't hurt anyone. Promoted. We're not supposed to hurt anybody. To general. Don't you love the old ass World War II sound effects for explosions in this fucking movie? And as a bagpipe, because why the hell not? Come on, let's suck it to him. It's tails. That's tail. That sounds like tails from my old Sonic video games. And they survive. How exactly? Jeffrey, tell me what was happening. So Atlantis has missiles that shoot lasers that make you forget your memory. Jeffrey, just because we're on holiday doesn't mean you can dress any way you'd like to. One does have standards, you know. <laughs> hey, stop you, Rat Fink. Where do you think you're going so fast? I'll teach you to punch me on the nose. So I guess this was necessary. We had to give Smiles his own fucking revenge arc. It was so confusing, and I'm not very clever or experienced. I'm yeah, only seven go. years let old. He's seven? <laughs> and He's only seven years old? Doing in your tentacles. What tentacles? What? I said let him go, not throw him away like a piece of trash. 
Sorry, Your Majesty. He was Next trash. Time I'll be more like this careful. movie. He was so this movie's he trash. Through my fin be quiet, smile. Just shut up. Stop asking questions. Damn it. You know, I just really. He, did they not think that maybe they'll run out of this stuff? Like. They clearly don't have enough for. For every rat in the world. Did they not think that through? What a great punishment for all these prisoners. What was that? Did you see that? Come here. Yes. I thought screwdrivers were illegal. Oh, on, they're also a race of people. So basically, Atlantis outlawed an entire race. Queen and I. Wow, y'all can go fuck yourselves. That is so terrible. That is in such bad taste. Ah, now instead of rotting in an underwater city, they can rot on a little island. And by rot, I mean live forever and never rot. Sucks, huh? And I met a lovely lady dog, too. She was really nice. We spent a whole two minutes together on screen. We'll have to start our huh? Wow, y'all didn't, didn't even do it. Y'all didn't even fix it all the way. What the fuck? Hey, kids. Let's See, kids, this is what happens when you don't want to live in a totalitarian dictatorship. This is what happens to you. You get locked up in a fucking insane asylum forever. Wow, okay. Wow, there's a there's a rape scene in this movie. That's nice. That's real fucking nice. I'm afraid we'll have to keep him in here forever. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. Who cares? See, kids, that's what happens when you when you don't want to live in totalitarian dictatorships. Another Celine Dion ripoff. How how great is that? Is that it? Is that really the end of it all? Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. It's it's fucking over. It's all done. Oh my god. Yeah. No shit. That's the worst one. So yeah, taking North Korea into consideration. Do you kind of understand why it is the way it is? Yeah, it's... It is really tasteless. Yeah, I, I... I'm surprised no one else ever talked about the North Korea aspect. Because that, that kind of explains everything. It, it feels like a North Korea propaganda movie. It's like, yay hey, kids, yeah, you, you don't want to live in a totalitarian dictatorship? Well then, you're just gonna end up in a fucking insane asylum for the rest of your life, okay? You're gonna be hunted down and you're gonna be shot at. By an army that, for some reason, doesn't want to hurt you and stuff like that. How how weird. How, this movie is fucking weird. This was so fucking dumb, weird, and everything. Ugh. I guess outside of the North Korean aspect, again, I have nothing to offer. That's I have nothing else else to add. That's the that's the thing about these movies. Everybody already knows about them. Everybody's already talked about them. They are honestly very easy films to talk about. There's always so much you can talk about, but. That's the thing. There's really not a lot of new stuff to talk about. Everybody's talked about these movies to death at this point and everything. And I want to talk about these movies next. This is what I'm reviewing next. I'm actually going to do all three in one video. and But I'm going to keep it all kind of brief. Just to kind of sum everything up. Because again, everyone's already talked about them. Uh, about these movies and everything. Um, but the reason why I'm talking about these movies is because... Um, the horrendous discovery I found is somewhat related with these movies. Um, so it's kind of important that I do talk about these movies, or at the very least, have sat down and watched them. So that's kind of why I did this. So with that being said, yeah, those are the three Titanic movies. They're god-awful. I started this around like 6 in the morning, now it's 9.30. That's three and a half hours of fucking suffering. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Not just, just, just fun. Just fucking fun. A lot of fun. Just get, getting a fucking migraine and everything. Yeah, this was so much fun. <laughs> okay. Hey. Do you guys want a sneak peek of the horrendous discovery? Okay, I'll give you a brief little sneak peek right here.
It's all you get. Hey, goodbye.